downtown LA, La La Land, and this is your Elmer Ave update coming to you from LA, downtown LA. So, is this this is a new space for Elmer Ave? What made you guys decide? I mean, talk about a challenging time to open up a new space. Well, that's that's the reason we're opening right now. Um, it's time to take things into our own hands and to kind of create what we want and to sell what we want to directly to our customers. It's the first time we've ever had this opportunity. Well, oh, wait a minute. So your customers can come down here while you guys are creating? We have a retail space. We have a little workspace and our showroom. So we can meet with our um, buyers. We can meet with personal clients. A lot of our businesses have the clientele that want specific things for specific occasions. So this gives us a better chance than, even though I still love North Hollywood, it gives us a little more accessible chance to work with you. Well, that's because you're in the fashion district, yes. right? Yes. I mean, everybody loves the compound. <laughs> we love the compound, but this is downtown LA. And this is We're trying to bring fashion downtown. We want to be, you know, the forefront of the renaissance of fashion in downtown LA. Ooh, I like that. The forefront of the renaissance. Mm. Well, you know, there's a lot of art downtown now, and there's a lot of artists on the street, especially, and everything's art galleries. We have been one of the fashion lines that combines art with fashion, and so now we're going to collaborate with the local artists and then do our own art on our own clothes. It's kind of a new, new, uh, new inspirations, even. Mm -hmm. mm, now you're co-located with Skin Graft over here. Yes. Now that's kind of an in. Well, actually, do you guys? Well, I'm thinking about it. I we, guess we've been collaborating with Skin Graft for a few years. Right. We, we've been very close friends as far as professionally. Um, you know, we're both trying to re reach about the same kind of a market, but our stuff's so different. Same it is dramatically point. different, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we figure with both of us you know, pushing strong, and both of us with really strong followings, we can create a whole new... <laughs> Dirty hippie, I love him. Um, it, it makes all the sense in the world to us, and we're hoping that it, it's a strong reason for people to come support us, because there's two really great lines here. We're both going to be doing a lot of things just with this store, like exclusive to the store. Really? And then everything well, that's that we exciting. have in the store will be available online, only through us. And then, you know, we'll still have our production line that's very exclusive also with all our stores. So this is more custom down here? This is going to be our avenue to, to really, really do the Elmer Ave. Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah. So, and I know a lot of people are probably familiar with your line that was from males, but you just introduced not too long ago the lines from females. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've been crossing over to our new thing called the Dolphin, and it's uh, men suiting tailored down to be feminine and petite. So we've got a little bit of androgynous, and, it, and it's classic styles with our art influence. We're kind of trying to combine some of the, the, the really traditional women's things, like a corset with a men's vest. So we're making a corset vest, and they're, they're beautiful. We're, we're hopefully going to be releasing them this summer. So we're also doing a lot more um, of our own production pieces, and then we're deconstructing them. Like, we used to just deconstruct vintage pieces. Now we make our own pieces. And then oh, like, you do? Yeah, then we get rowdy. I was always wondering how you found all the vintage pieces to deconstruct. <laughs> well, it was hard, so now we make them. And we can make them better. And our, our, our construction's beautiful, and our production is very high-end. And then we can, we can kind of rough it up and paint on it and stuff. It's exciting. It's like, we've kind of gone full circle. Oh, that is, that is so, so cool. So, what are you expecting the fashions to look like? Oh, actually, I guess we already did fall, although we haven't quite gotten to fall, right? We don't fall. I know. It's kind of, it's ahead. So, shall we ask you, let's see, spring 2010. <laughs> we kind of just do what's working for us right now, and that's the thing with our production, the way we set it up, we do our production in Tokyo. We can produce stuff almost like immediate. Really? Um, now, why, why Tokyo? Because of the quality and the customization. Um, oh, yeah. And the price. No, that's it's funny. way higher quality than we were getting. We were doing everything in downtown, and it was just that was the quality we had. Whoa. So, even though it's overseas, we can customize, we can do really custom artwork. They'll, they'll hand do things, they'll do very low runs for us. And oh, that's nice. And it gives us a chance to do really fast turnovers. So, we're moving. We're, we're learning how to work with the economy that we face. Okay, so for any of you that are not familiar with Elmer Ave, there are four guys. No, wait, wait, oh, excuse me. We, uh, <laughs> no, it's not a bad thing. Um, Colin and we were both left to do music full time. They both have their own You band. are all 
always musicians and at heart. What it was the Fab Four is now me and Murph. You and Murph? Me and Murph. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Now, does that make it more difficult? I mean, I always wondered how you designed with four people. Is this make it, it easier with two? It would probably a little bit of the design ethic. Okay. Um, the four-man design ethic kind of was cool because it had four opinions combining into one look. Now it's a lot more just me and Murph. Murph has always been our graphic influence, and I've always kind of been our... Uh, I've always production managed our line, and I'm, I'm the one that's bringing it into the women's stuff. Now that and is... And I've been sharpening my skills. Ooh! Okay, we have to see it. Now I know we're going to go inside and we're teasing everybody because we're just talking out here. They don't get to see the clothes at all. But we're going to look inside and the volume's a little louder because, well, it's an opening event. What can we say? Yeah, we like to party. Yeah, so, but what are some of your favorite items that are in the product line right now? Um, well... I mean, we make suits, so it's blazers and vests and shirts, but we're starting to do um, the doll stuff is really what I'm most excited about right now. Oh, do you, do you have a favorite of the doll stuff? The vests. Really? Okay, so Johnny... I can see the girl wearing it up there. Oh, she's wearing it up there? In fact, we're going to sneak right around here. Oh, that's, oh, look at that. There's a graphic on it. That is cute. Yeah, hand-painted graphic. That is really cute. Actually, you know, one of the things I noticed is thank you for designing for women of all sizes. Because sometimes I go and look for clothes, I'm like, how? You know what I mean? It's like, don't they have anything small? Well, the doll fit is that. It's a petite line. It's kind of an androgynous petite line. Boys can wear it too when they're really small, especially guys that like to dress a little more androgynous. Something that's prepared. I mean, nail morass is always tailored, but now we right. make it small. Yeah, and then the great part, since you do your own production anyway, is if someone's really large or really tiny, you can always have it customized for you anyway. Yeah. Ooh, okay, Johnny. Well, thank uh, you let's so see. much, Joyce. Th thank you, Johnny. And people can check you out on the internet at... Elmerapp.com. Okay. E-L-M-E-R-A-B-E.com. So check out Elmerapp. And meanwhile, we're going to go inside and take a peek. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs>